What do you consider is your greatest sexual achievement? My first girlfriend wanted to see how many times we could have sex in one day, so we planned a duckathon and spent the entire day doing it and doing it and doing it well. Every other thing we did was have sex. Sex. Breakfast. Sex. Shower. Sex. TV. Sex. Order pizza. Sex. Tip delivery driver. Sex. Eat pizza. Sex. We did it 10 times in a 24 hour period. Later in life I had another girlfriend who asked what's the most I ever had sex in a day was. When I told her this she said. We can beat that. So I did the same thing again. But we didn't make it to 11. Just tied at 10. Both of them were named Ashley. As the universe has decreed. Screw it. I'll be the weird person who says it. The first time someone made love to me instead of just ducking me. I'd been 10 years sexually active when it happened, and I almost cried. My greatest achievement, because I had always only wanted that, and never found it. It made me feel, like I was worth something. Had this recently, similar time frame of ducking before the first time making love. I've been so conditioned for sex to just be ducking, that when things got heated with the gent I said, do you want to duck me? And he just stops, looks into my eyes and said no. I want to make love to you. Yeah right cried NGL. Felt so stupid. As if I forgot that part of having sex. Had a note put under our hotel room door thanking us for the nightly audio entertainment. Achievement get. Audio file. You slasher underscore very underscore brave underscore taco I haven't heard that name in a long time. Made my ex BF come from poking his belly button really hard. He said it had never happened before, and I've never tried it to anyone since, but I always laugh when I think about it and still don't fully understand how it happened. Did he giggle like the Pillsbury Doughboy? R slash Tehi now you've made me think of the Pillsbury Doughboy violently orgasming, and I cold lived happily without that. Frosted biscuits. Touching a boob for the first time. It's all been downhill from there. Damn I did that when I was 5 minutes old. I blame being adopted for my early obsession. I see. I'm also a woman, so I can touch boobs whenever I want. I'm a fat man. I can do that too. I gave a classmate one of those seizure orgasms once. It was an interesting experience, but then she gave me HPV. Yowch edit. Why is this my most liked comment? This trade sucks. Apostrophe. A spring popped out of the bed and cut my leg open. Still finished. Doesn't matter had sex. But I cried the whole time. Doesn't matter. Had sex. I think she might have been a racist. My best friend at the time had sex with my ex soon after we broke up and were still kind of working on things who I had been dating for years. Met up with his ex a while after, who I always thought was absolutely gorgeous, and had the same success. We call this win trading in the esports world. Considering the dude's username is u slash underscore nar I think he might be well accustomed to the practice of win trading. I will be very disappointed in this guy, if he don't scream shuji shuji shuji, during sex. My girlfriend and I were drunk in our kitchen, and started having sex at our dinner table. We have these old mid-century modern Danish teak chairs that are old as hell. Well she was riding me while I sat on the chair. I was getting real into it and about to bust, so I decided to give more vigorous thrusts. Well as I was about to nut the chair legs gave out, and as we were suspended in midair I was orgasming. When we hit the floor the impact was like this second wave and all I could do was to laugh as I couldn't believe I just nutted in midair. I then looked at my girlfriend and she had the opposite look on her face. A look of horror. She looked at her leg and so did I. The chair leg had broke into a sharp spear like object and stabbed her through the calf. We freaked out and drove her to the hospital. She was fine and it didn't cause any serious injuries other than stitches. I remember it as the best orgasm of my life, and she remembers it as getting spit roasted by me, and a danish chair. Edit, link, com slash a slash kai after I took a picture of one of the chairs from the set, so you can get a better visual representation. Second edit, while this blew up more than I thought it would, and I'm conflicted to show my girlfriend or not. 
I'm leaning on her being extremely pissed about me sharing this story. I also have never told anyone this story up to this moment, so it feels very liberating. Thank you all for my freedom. You nutted so hard you defied gravity and significantly injured someone. Good job. Breaking the bed while having sex. Granted the bed was 20 plus years old and needed replacement but it still counts. I, we, broke one of those cheap college futons once. Still funny as it was not mine. Edit, one, that was you. I want a new futon. Me too. Me three and stop breaking people's ducking futons. Losing my v-card before 40. The prophecy is true. You are the chosen one. My boyfriend made me squirt once, and has been trying so hard to do it again, since I would say, that is his greatest achievement so far. He enjoyed it more than I did lol. Same lol. Issue is I squirt without orgasming and visa versa. It just feels, like I get very wet very quickly. But it happened, when we couldn't have sex, and were just doing foreplay for like an hour. But I dk if it's odd, but I much much prefer internal stimulation than external as, as soon as I'm ready I get impatient, and want it in me. I know he wants to see me do it again cause I see him watching during hand stuff. I just picture him staring intently at your vagina, while furiously rubbing it and it's hilarious. Bless his heart. Then a sustained squirt hits him square in the face, and he starts spitting and sputtering. Like trying to stop a broken faucet. I went to page 1289 on Pornhub, achievement get, librarian. Gave a woman an orgasm by rubbing her nipples. When I was a teenager, I used to give myself ones this way, and I told my boyfriend about it. But he hasn't gotten the technique down to do it himself yet. He's always a bit too rough, or gets bored too soon. I keep hoping he and I can work on it some more sometime, as I'm a fairly sexual person with a decent sex drive, and can orgasm for hours on end by myself. But he really struggles to bring me to orgasm. There's no shame in giving slash receiving a little guidance sometimes. Going down on a lady I was dating, and afterwards her stating this is something all women should experience. Ah I love this. It's just an amazing feeling when you make somebody feel good like that. It's very fulfilling. It really is. Hats off to you. That's a wonderful achievement. Us women can be tricky sometimes in that department. At a hotel. King size bed shifted roughly 6 inches away from where it started. Even in nice hotels I've been to they are usually bolted to the wall. You in them all. Thank you. The bed came with you. 40 years. Same partner. Neither tapped out even once. Still awesome. 40 years for one sex session is long. One of you better say stop. Both of them forgot the safe word. Lol. I'm cracking up over the visual of a couple who would like to finish already. But they are forced to keep going for 40 years because they both forgot the safe word. Getting my boyfriend off while he was on Prozac. I miss having sex, but at least I don't wanna die all my experiences on antidepressants. Take care of yourself mate. Hope you can get off them one day. I hope so too thank you, kind stranger. Dated this girl just after high school. She cheated on me a couple times. After I broke it off she started telling people I had a small dick. Over the next couple years I ended up sleeping with 5 of her closest friends. Edit, a lot of you are asking about my dick for various reasons. I should've clarified that she was lying. Jigger Chad, Chad Thundercock, you've been Thundercocked, epic guitar solo. Having sex in a tent during huge thunderstorm and coming on a loud thunderstrike. Felt like I was Thor. Edit, never had this many upvotes ever. Glad my most upvoted comment is to do with sex lol. I'm still worthy. I convinced a friend that thought that they had nothing to offer, that they had value and got him to ask out a girl. Every time they go at it, I consider it another win for me. Edit. For those of you who are looking for the same thing I don't know you, and I don't know if I can personally help you in any way. But I do have this that I can share for all of you. Kindness and compassion is something anyone can learn if you don't already have it. 
kindness and compassion is something of value that isn't gated by your physical limits or your mental capabilities. It doesn't expire. And it isn't always easy so, if it is genuine people will respond. Everyone deserves affection. The person you are wooing. As well as yourself. Be a person that spreads love and joy. Be a person easy to love and and be willing to work towards it. If you do, you will definitely increase your chances of finding someone. Remember to be kind. Be compassionate and be brave. I hope this helps. Wholesome math bro. Ed tried a lot in my own. And have even had sex a few times. With two different guys. But it never orgasmed. It was honestly really weighing on my self confidence. I wasn't sure if I would ever really enjoy sexual behavior. And I felt sort of broken. For a few years I just kind of stopped thinking about it. And stopped trying to touch myself or even date. Then. At 23. I decided enough with enough, and I read a bunch of articles, shout out to Refinery29, on techniques and I found some videos, that actually turned me on, and I did it. I had the same experience. Took to faking orgasms with guys bc I thought my body was broken lol. Didn't help that I went to catholic schools and the sex ed there was very male orientated. Think females can't orgasm. And that masturbation for females is wrong. I ended up just saying F it, and spent an evening just exploring myself, and finally had my first big go at 18. I was the first person, to ever get my ex to come. She baked me a cake afterwards. Link. Com slash a slash w 4 bw 2 a Shold made a cream pie instead. If you leave it too long in the oven you end up with a kid though. Being married almost 50 years, and we still desire each other get each other off with immense satisfaction. Yeah I know. Youngsters will think it's gross. But just wait. If you're lucky, you'll be here someday. Youngster here, I find it wholesome. Congrats on soon to be 50 happy years. And I honestly hope, to have the same someday. Edit. Actually my first Reddit award. Thank you kind stranger. Thank you. <laughs> My younger brother had a female friend who I hooked up with casually one night when we were teenagers. Some heavy petting and reaching into each other's underwear. She then told me she was a virgin and was ready to sleep with me. I told her she should wait and lose it to someone who she loved to make it special. Years later we bumped into each other and had a few drinks. Both now being single. She invited me back to her house, and I vulged she'd always been thankful that she'd held on to it, and it lose it to a guy she loved at the time. Then we admitted we'd both fantasized about each other since, and proceeded to have some crazy, drunk, unbridled sex. It was like 5 years of foreplay edit, some extra details. I was 18. She was 16. My brother was dating someone else at the time. We dated for a year after our eventual rendezvous. There was a more elaborate dialogue between us than summarized above. She tentatively said she felt she was ready to lose her virginity to me. We were on the bed in my bedroom at this point. We fooled around some more. I asked if she was sure. Maybe she'd rather save it for a relationship, rather than on a first time hookup. It was over 20 years ago. I can't recall verbatim. I was in university. She was in high school. We had different social circles and I knew there was no prospect of forming a relationship. I would have felt like a jerk to have slept with her then ghosted her. We fooled around some more. Then she reflected that she did want to wait. If she had said, no I'm certain. I've thought about this and I want it. Then giddy up. Playing the long game. I'm glad being a genuinely good dude paid off. The long darn con was giving oral to a girl, and she was obviously making all the right noises. Next thing she stops. So I kinda doubled down really putting the effort in. About 15 seconds later she clatters the side of my head with her hand. I'd made her pass out it was so intense lol. Guide me in the gd way. Master. Ma hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.